What is up YouTube, Thrift School over here. I am pulling some eBay orders. We have an awesome thrift haul that bunch of things I picked up yesterday. Uh, I'm extremely surprised at some of this stuff I got. I really wanna show you guys amazing prices, amazing quality of items, lots of brand new things. But first, we have all the items that sold on eBay, only three items, so not a lot, so it'll be very quick to go through. The first item we have here is this remote. So I bought a huge lot of remotes, probably like 40, maybe 50 of them, and about 20 or so were worth it to sell on eBay. So, and some were worth it to sell on Amazon, but I listed all of these ones on eBay. This one already sold after about a day of being on eBay. It's a Sherwood RM101, and this thing sold for $19.75 shipped. Really good price, I'm happy about it. It weighs maybe three ounces, so it's gonna be very cheap and easy to ship. The next item we have is something that I didn't know if it would ever sell. I've had it for so long. It's a Bob the Builder plug and play, and uh, I've had this listed forever. It finally sold for $13.80, so I'm happy about that. I'm glad to take the money. It is pretty lightweight. There's no batteries in it, so that helps save some weight. So I made some money on this, not as much as I wanted to. I think I originally bought it to send into Amazon. Uh, the rank was really high. I figured I would just take a gamble on it, and it just never sold. I had it shipped back to me because of all those long-term storage fee things that were going on with Amazon for a while. So I had it shipped back to me, and I've had it up on eBay for like six plus months and it finally sold so I'm happy about that. Now the last thing I'm even the most happy about, woo, I sold the, a lot of Ghost Supernatural books. So, sold them for $19.95 plus shipping, so it came to a total of $23.74, so still not a bad price for five books. These are actually some of the bigger, heavier ones, so it feel like this happens quite often to me, but my camera battery died and I had to charge it up. So I've already packaged up the two other orders and we still have these books right here. Kind of forgot where I was when I was speaking because that was like an hour ago, but uh, sold these for 20 bucks. I'm happy about that. Got to package them up. Uh, these are heavier than most of the other lots and the books are much thicker. I'll show you. You can see right here the books. I mean, this one's massive. This is like, that's a big book. Two of them are like that. So these won't, I don't think, will fit into a bubble mailer, but I'm gonna go grab one and see if they possibly will. I don't know, let's go check it out. All right, here we are in the garage, grabbing a bubble mailer. There's a leaf in here, what the heck? All right, let's grab one. Let's grab two just in case. There we go, good to go. All right, so we got the two bubble mailers. Now we are going to try and slide these into one if they don't fit. We'll just use two bubble mailers and then saran wrap them together. Being innovative. <laughs> Let's uh, try it out. So I was able to fit three in one, two in the other, and I wanna keep them together. So I'm just gonna put some saran wrap around them just to hold them together and then put the label on like that. And I think that's gonna be the best way to do it. Uh, now I could put them in a box, which Maybe I could have done, I don't know if I have the right size. I probably do, honestly. I don't know why I'm going through all this now that I think about it. Sometimes it's just easier to use a box. I think I'm getting carried away, but it's okay. We're gonna saran wrap this. They are bubble mailed up, so they have a little more padding to them. Um, yeah, so let's let's finish packing this. All right, so there we go. It's, it's the package. And I just created my own package. I love using this stuff. I use this stuff for everything, probably more things than I should. Maybe because I just have fun using it. But uh, I do like using it. I use it for a lot of things. And look at that. That is really uh, safe. It's definitely safe. It should be good in there. So I will weigh it up, ship it out media mail, slap the label right there on the front, and away it goes. All right, guys. Now time to show you these amazing finds. We're going to start off with the big guy first. This, I cannot believe I found this. $75 for a Canon EOS Rebel T6. And here's my receipt, so you guys can see. Uh, Goodwill, let's see if it'll uh, focus in. There we go. There it is, $75 with the discount that you get at the Goodwills in Connecticut. I spent $71.25 on this for the Canon Rebel. And, uh, yeah, couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. And that's white tags, which means it's from Target. So this is something that normally I try to avoid because the prices are never really worth it, but this one certainly was. 
we will open it up and see what we have in here. Let's get it. All right, so it came with a bag, a cannon bag. There it is, cannon bag. That is probably a soap hair. I don't know. All right, <laughs> so it came with a cannon bag. Came inside here is the Canon Rebel T6 with a lens. Let's see if I could get this thing open. Why is this so hard to open? All right, there it is in there. There is the lens. Here is the camera. Let's turn this bad boy on. I got Lindy Glenn on the computer. And let's see what we got. We'll pop it on. Oh, I think I left it on. So it's probably, oh no, it's still live. There it is, it works fine, screen works good. I did take practice pictures with it. I can just pop one out right now. That pops up. I mean, it works, it works perfectly fine. So that is awesome, that is great right there. The fact that it came with the manual, the kit lens, 18 to 55, a transfer cable, and that's all good. Now, one thing I'm noticing in here, I do not see a charger. So I might have to order a charger. And then right here we have a Canon 75 to 300 millimeter lens, which is brand new in here. Let's see if I can pop this open. Whoops. Well, there's that. Now I gotta grab that without touching the lens. Holy moly, guys. Okay, this is very crazy. Okay, perfect. So there's that. Beautiful. So we got that extra lens. And then maybe... Uh, it doesn't feel like it. I don't think the charger is in there. So I think this is missing the charger for the camera, which is something I didn't even notice. Didn't even bother looking at. But we could definitely get a new charger. There we go. I finally got it open. Holy cow, that was not easy. And uh, we have the battery right here. So I'm probably going to just have to order a charger for this thing. Yeah, is that the official battery? Yeah, Canon. So that's good. Uh, no memory card, but that's fine. And yeah, all in all, it's in really clean shape, guys. I spent $75 on this. I'm looking to get about $380 to $400 on this. So freaking sweet. Super, super happy about that. Now, you can see a stack of video games over here that I was just so surprised to see at Goodwill. And you guys will be even more surprised when you see the prices. So they're all brand new sealed, all of them. This is Yonder for $6 from Goodwill. Nintendo Switch game sells for about $35 to $45. Next, we have LA Noir. You can see it was clearance down to 15. They had it marked at six. So this I could probably get about 30-ish dollars for on Amazon. I picked up this DVD, brand new sealed, get about 30 over on eBay. I paid $2 for it, Godzilla vs. Mothra. We got a Lego Star Wars Deluxe Edition with a minifigure for the Xbox One. I paid $6 for it. Um, now, I didn't scan a lot of these. I'm only going to make about 3 to $4 on this, but at least it's money. At least I'm not losing any money. Next, we have Batman Arkham VR. I spent $6 on this, and this guy I should sell on Amazon for about $30, maybe $35. Again, good score. Another game we have here is the Sega Genesis Classics Collection. I spent, I spent $4 on this one, and this should also be going for about $30, maybe a little less, maybe like $25. Got Just Dance 2018 for the Wii. This is actually the most valuable version. This is close to $40, and I spent 4 it looks like, on this one. And then the last one, which I'm going to have to sell over on eBay as new because there is a little rip in the plastic up there at the top that you guys can kind of see. It is, I only spent $3 on it. It's Madden 19, the Hall of Fame edition with all the bonus content. Whoa. With, with all the bonus content and everything. So, want to get this listed soon because uh, it's the newest Madden at the moment and I don't want it to wait because it only goes down in value fast. So, insane finds, guys. I cannot believe all these video games, even a Nintendo Switch game for $6. That's just crazy. I've never seen a Switch game at a Goodwill the first time. First time finding a 
practically brand new camera. It is a shame that the charger isn't in there, so I am gonna have to buy one separate. Now my desk is a complete mess and I have to get to organizing here. Also, I have a brand new sealed video game back here that I've had listed on eBay forever and it never sold and uh, doesn't even have a rank on Amazon somehow. So it's kind of odd. Gotta figure out how to sell this. Just gonna probably relist it up on eBay as well as a bunch of other random stuff you guys can see. I got a lot to get listing, a lot to get done. And it's a good thing. It's only 421. It is Thursday, so it's getting close to the end of the week. We got to get this stuff shipped off to Amazon, but I need some more stuff for a shipment. Uh, I can't just ship off a few video games. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm not going to. I want to get more stuff, so I might be heading back out in the next day or so to buy more stuff, possibly another great haul like this. So definitely some awesome finds at the Goodwill. I could not believe it. Target clearances normally are horrible, and this one just happened to be fire. It was just things, I'm finding things left and right. It was crazy. I go to the glass case and I see all these games in there and I see some of these prices, $3, $4, $5. Just couldn't believe it. So I grabbed all those real quick, real quick, walked around. The camera was actually in a new bin that they pushed out. So that was sweet. Very happy about that. So I always say, hey, who cares about the target clearance? Sometimes it's worth it. In this case, it was definitely worth it. I'm very happy about it. I'm debating keeping uh, the Switch game because I kind of want to try and play it, but I'd rather have the $30. So I'm going to be selling all of it. That's multiple, multiple hundred dollars in profit right there. The camera alone, I should profit just about $300 on it, and it's a pretty quick seller. All the games profit maybe... After all fees, all shipping and everything, maybe a little over a hundred dollars there. So holy cow, this could be about five, four to five hundred dollars in profit, and it only took me about 15 minutes. Guys, you gotta go out there, you gotta hit up the store every single day. I was at this Goodwill the day before. You guys saw the video I posted. I found some CDs. Oh no, that was actually red, white, and blue. I wasn't at the Goodwill. I was at the Goodwill a few days ago, didn't find much at all. I think I got like one or two little things. And uh, I decided, you know what? I haven't been finding anything at this Goodwill in a while. I'm gonna take a break from it. Happened to be in the area, decided, you know what? I'm just gonna swing by and I'm glad I did. So you gotta hit it up as often as you can. You never know what you're gonna find. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School, signing out. See ya.